This is a human idiom that can spit out a lot of gold coins. As long as the man in the suitcase feels pain, his mouth will spit out gold coins uncontrollably. The stronger the pain he feels, the more gold coins he will spit out. But this is not a good thing. One day ago, David was waiting for his suitcase at the airport. At the same time, Lily sent him a breakup text message. This made him panic, so he accidentally took the wrong suitcase. It was as if there was a destiny and he was being watched by some evil spirit. Soon David returned home with his suitcase, but he did not notice anything wrong. Just put the suitcase aside. He just put the suitcase aside and watched TV leisurely. Just then the suitcase next to him suddenly moved, and the man's cry for help came from inside. David was immediately frightened. Then he thought, it must be Mike's prank, but there was no one upstairs to answer him. At that moment, the suitcase sounded again, but David still did not believe it and ran to the stairwell to confirm. However, this is really the sound of the suitcase. This made David feel a chill behind his back. He had to be brave and open the suitcase by unzipping it. There was really a man in the suitcase. His body was twisted into a ball, as if he had been shoved into the suitcase. David was so scared that he was frouncing in place. When he recovered, he picked up a wooden stick and slowly approached the suitcase. Then he used his left hand to turn the man's head around. At this point, the man said that he had offended the wrong person to suffer such punishment and begged David to help him out. But David didn't dare to touch him with his hands, so he tried to take the men to the hospital with his suitcase. But the man refused. The man said that if he went to the hospital, he would be easily discovered by the enemy. David just needed to pull him out of the suitcase. David had no choice but to try to save him. He first pulled the man's feet and then pulled hard. But with a scream from the man, he spat something out of his mouth. David took a closer look and found that what he had spat out was actually a gold coin. The man was put into a suitcase. As soon as he felt the pain, a lot of gold coins would spit out of his mouth. David could not believe what was happening before his eyes, but the man trapped in the suitcase said it was true. As soon as he felt the pain, his mouth would spit out gold coins. So, if David is willing to save him out, all the gold he spits out will be David's. But David was still a little dizzy. He zipped up his suitcase and carried it upstairs. Then he lay down on his bed and thought about what had just happened. In a few moments, he fell into a deep sleep. The next day, David woke up laughing at his dream. To verify the authenticity of the gold coin, he went to a pawn shop. However, the owner wrote a check for $300 for the gold coin and asked him where he got the gold coin from. David had to lie and say he found it by luck. But when he told his roommate Mike about it, Mike was incredulous and thought David was joking but his eyes were wide and shining, and asked David to take him to see the suitcase. However, as soon as they got back to the door of the dorm, David's girlfriend burst out of the door and was very frightened. She found the man trapped in the suitcase and thought her boyfriend had killed him. Then the three of them went into the house together. The suitcase had been opened. The man's hand was exposed. Mike was bold enough to open the suitcase. The man trapped inside immediately made a sound. This scared the two of them age old. Lily kindly dropped her backpack and knelt down to get the man out. David also came to help. They pulled the man's feet and began to force. But the process was too painful, causing the man's mouth spit out another gold coin. Mike was very incredulous, looking at the gold coin on the ground and thought. Then he called the other to do him and said he wanted to use a man to make a fortune. But David didn't approve of what he was doing. He thinks that doing such a moral thing will sooner or later suffer retribution. But Mike ignores him and zippers up the suitcase. Then he dragged it to the stairway and kicked it down. The man trapped inside the suitcase screamed in pain. At the same time, hundreds of gold coins fell out. Lily was stunned. This meant a lot of designer cosmetics. The woman kicked frantically at the suitcase. As long as the man inside the suitcase feels pain, he will keep spitting out gold coins. Now the simple torture of the man can no longer meet their desire. So the three of them decided to use the electric shock method. This way the man spit out a constant amount of gold coins. David thought that if they continued like this, they would kill a man, but the other two couldn't stop. Who would want to give up so many gold coins? At this point, the man was already dying from the torture. Demi kept compelling David that with the money, you can realize your dream. But this time, David's attitude is very determined and also took out the phone to call the police. This is the way to cut off people's money. So Lily directly smashed his phone and then used a hammer to hit David's head. He couldn't believe his girlfriend would be so cruel. Then he stumbled and ran out. They both ran after him, afraid of what would happen. Just as they were about to hit him, David rolled down the stairs and fell to the ground unresponsive. The two of them were still torn between saving David and not saving him. But in the end, they were overcome by greed and they decided to squeeze the man dry 
and then go to the gold coins to exchange for a large sum of money. Then the men in the suitcase, but the eyes glow gold and became very strange. But they did not think much about the strange place, but turned on the current to the maximum. At this time the man was laughing and seemed to be enjoying it. Suddenly the room shook. A cloud of black smoke came out of the luggage. Then there was a demon inside. The two of them were so scared that they screamed in terror. The next second two suitcases suddenly landed from the air. We should all be able to know what happens to them. The scene changes. David wakes up from his hospital bed and there's a note next to him that says you're an amazing kid. If you ever need anything in the future, just think of me. I'll be right there to help. This is the end of the movie. So greed can make people slowly lose their minds. It also makes people more and more selfish. Until one day, greed will drive away everyone around us. And take away everything that we have. What do you think?